Um, would I say I have an art philosophy? Not really sure. That, that's quite, you know, that's a very good question. Um, I don't know. I, I, I've never really thought of myself, you know, as a philosopher or anything like that. So, you know, I mean, some people, you know, I've done some, some, uh, some uh, podcasts in the, in the last two years, you know, and people reach out and, you know, they comment and, you know, they're very, uh, you know, their comments are very positive and they say, oh, that, oh that, that was pretty amazing what you said. And I don't really think of these things as amazing, but I think every artist and, and even um, just in general people, we live different lives, but I feel like a lot of us walk a similar path through life, you know? So I speak, you know, with saying that, I speak from experience. To me, if you speak from experience, then I think people, more people can relate, especially people with common sense. They can be like, oh, well, I like that. That, well, I had a similar, you know, interaction or an event happened to me like that. You know, there's lots of things I think through life that we go through with similar events, similar, you know, it's different, but there's things about it that are almost the same. And, and when you speak about these, uh, incidents or, you know, events, people go, oh, that's how we relate with each other as humans, I feel. So, but I, I, I wouldn't say I'm a philosopher, I wouldn't say. My trip to Winnipeg, okay, so, um, you know, I got wind of a graffiti gallery up in Winnipeg, you know, it's, it's uh, 2019 now, and I think it was 2010, I believe uh, Chino, a friend of mine, who's also a prolific writer, um, in writing graffiti as well as a journalist, he, he, he came out here for a project and also uh, a few other guys from New York. So I was interested in coming out and in 2010 was when um, in my life I decided to take my um, so-called career, even though I had did professional stuff and uh, I've always considered myself to be an artist. I had been painting in the streets for 30 years. And what happened was, at that point of my life, because of uh, jobs and just events and, and lots of travel through Europe and talking to, 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 to fellow artists, you know, we, we noticed we were getting older and we needed to kind of um, now develop a body of work, meaning paintings. Because with graffiti, everything that you do in the streets or in the public will be eradicated. It could be one day, it could be uh, a month, it could be a year, it could be 10 years. I've had stuff, 15 years, you can go to a wall in the Bronx, you're like, oh, that's, that's a Wayne piece he did, you know, in 2005. But with saying that, I made that decision and I got a studio space, and this was one of the first galleries I heard of. And similar peers that had had uh, history as, as me had showcased in this gallery, and I wanted to reach out and see if I can get a show. So. Here we are nine years later, got the call, we applied for the grant, and um, I'm up here, really excited. Um, I haven't seen much because I've been in the, in the, in the gallery trying to develop the work and, you know, you know things of that nature. So, um, hmm. haven't seen much of Winnipeg so far.